So if you have bought home a new NVIDIA GPU or if you are new to gaming or if you are just looking for best NVIDIA GPU settings that can help you improve your gaming experience and help you get better FPS and lower input latency, you are at the right video. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can set up your NVIDIA GPU correctly for gaming. So make sure to stick around till the end. Also leave your specs in the comments below for better assistance. And with all this said, let's get started. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Let's get started with the step number one, that is updating your GPU drivers. And for that, I would suggest you guys to get NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This application is a life changer and it is a really, really important application if you're using an NVIDIA graphic card. So make sure to head to the link in the description below and download this application straight away. Once you've opened up, the application should look like this and you will have to find a driver's part right away over here then simply click on these three dots and select the game ready drivers these drivers are designed by nvidia for game optimization however if you want to utilize your gpu for studio purposes such as video editing or shooting well you can use studio drivers that will enhance your gpu for those kind of applications but we are talking about the game ready driver in this video now you will find the latest game ready driver driver on your screen what you need to do is simply download and install it on your computer and once you're done with that you have to go to the settings part and over here make sure that your in-game overlay is turned on also do read your rig specifications and leave them in the comments below and that can help you guys a lot in this application go to the general part scroll all the way down until you find desktop notifications and then enable both of these these settings are really important and they will always notify you whenever a new gpu driver drops also in the download section you can select automatically download the driver updates and let me choose when to install but i don't recommend this because if you're playing games and it starts downloading in the middle of that session it might lead to network issues so you can simply work upon the notifications and whenever you get the notification simply download this thing up okay so now once you are done with installing your nvidia graphic card drivers step number two is the nvidia control panel and you can get that on microsoft store you need to simply open up microsoft store and then once you are here you need to look up for nvidia control panel so you will find nvidia control panel just like that on your microsoft store what you need to do is simply install it and open this thing up okay once you are here you need to go to 3d settings and then select adjust image settings with preview once you are here select the advanced 3d image settings and then simply click on take me there now once you are here you need to follow the settings that i'm going to tell you first thing is image scaling and you need to make sure that you turn this thing on for ambient occlusion and anisotropic filtering i would recommend you guys turn this thing off Anti-aliasing FXAA should also be turned off, but anti-aliasing gamma correction is the only thing that you want to be turned on. Also for anti-aliasing mode, I would recommend you guys to go with application control because for some games like Fortnite, DLSS and some more anti-aliasing methods really help you get better FPS. So I'd recommend you guys to leave it application control. Anti-aliasing transparency should also be turned off. Now, some of the major settings are coming right up on your screen, so make sure to not skip them. 
First thing is the background application max frame rate. Now this defines that the apps running in the background will run on what frames per second. Now by default it is set to unlimited that means that if you're running your game and if there is any other application that consumes graphic card running in the background that will lead to huge FPS loss. So you can limit this by simply clicking on this and then setting it to on and set it to the lowest setting that is the 20 fps once you're done with that simply click on ok and that will be saved also for your CUDA GPU make sure that it is set to all for DSR factors you need to turn this thing off for low latency mode you need to keep it ultra but for some systems but for some systems on and off works best so over here you need to play a little bit by checking the settings which one works best for you guys also max frame rate should also be set to off you do not want to limit your fps anyways for the multi frame sampled aa or the mfaa you need to keep it off open gl gdi compatibility keep it auto for the open gl rendering gpu make sure that you always select your primary gpu over here for laptop users specifically your laptop might have two gpus that is the integrated gpu as well as the hardware installed gpu so you need to make sure that it is always set to your physical gpu then for the power management mode i would recommend you guys to go with prefer maximum performance as that will not focus on saving power but improvising the performance of your gpu for the preferred refresh rate i would recommend you guys to go with highest available shader cache size i have left it to driver default but you guys can set it to 5 gb or 10 gb because every time whenever your games download these shader files it will only save up to 5 gb or 10 gb and after that it will clear it automatically so I have left it to driver default but if you are running a low end graphic card well then you can set it to 5 or 10 GB. Next thing is the texture filtering and isotropic sampling options you need to make sure that it is on for negative LOD bias make sure to do it allow then for the quality go with high performance trilinear optimization on and threaded optimization on both of these options will help you get better and stable fps but for triple buffering i would highly suggest you guys to keep it off as well as the vertical sync keep it off for virtual reality you can set it to the lowest possible because you're not going to be using virtual reality anyways vulkan or opengl presenting method should also be set to auto once you're done applying all of these settings don't forget to click on this apply button or else these settings won't apply on your pc once you're done with that click on configure surround and physics and over here for the processor select your nvidia graphic card over here then scroll all the way down for adjust desktop color settings and once you are here set your digital vibrance somewhere between 50 to 70 as that will give you more vibrant colors and it will also enhance visibility in many of the games also scroll down for adjust video color settings and here select with nvidia settings and the saturation keep it to 60 degrees also go all the way right to advanced settings and if you find the dynamic range for most of you guys your monitors are automatically set to limited but what you need to do is set it to full setting it to full will give you more depth of color as well as a much better visibility so once you're done with that simply click on apply and then close nvidia control panel next step is creating a restore point as this is really important and for that you need to search for create a restore point on your pc look for your local disk c simply click on create and name it nvidia just so you remember it and make sure to let it run creating a restore point will ensure that your system is safe and if you want to revert all the settings back to normal you can always do it without any data loss Okay, once it is done, you need to simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is getting NVIDIA GPU optimization pack. This pack is specially designed for all of the NVIDIA users and it is a must have to improve your FPS drastically. You can simply download this pack from the link in the description below. And if you're facing any issues, you can join my Discord server for a detailed video tutorial on how to get this pack safely. Now once you download and open this up, you will find three simple folders. Open up the first folder and over here you need to run all of these registry files. Running them will boost your system's responsiveness. Both of these options will help you improve your video settings. Then disabling GPU energy driver, that means your GPU will not focus on saving power, but it will focus on maximizing the performance. Disabling the power throttling will help you to reduce fluctuating power in your GPU and that will help you to get a constant flow and a consistent working routine of your GPU. 
Also, disabling the unnecessary services will help you to improve your PC's performance. As it says, these services consume your GPU in the background and if you disable them, it won't impact your PC in any way but will also leave a headroom for your GPU to grab that extra fps that you are missing out on as this registry helps all of your system's hardware to work efficiently using the power so once you're done with that go back to the second folder which is the pc optimization and over here you need to leave your gpu specs down in the comments below and i will be replying with which one that you have to use but there i have also left a msi utility v3 you need to open it up as an administrator and once it opens up you are looking for your graphic card nvidia geforce rtx that is for me and from undefined you need to select high over here and simply click on apply just make sure not to click on this msi because it might mess up your settings so do not enable msi but simply click on high interrupt priority and simply close it next step is going to the third folder which is the memory optimization and you need to run cache cleaner bat as administrator now it will start removing all of the unnecessary and unwanted cache files from your pc and this will help you to reduce input latency as well as storage issues and also it fixes a lot of performance issues on your pc and doing this will only remove unwanted and unnecessary files so don't worry your data is completely safe and it is not harmful once it is done close the nvidia optimization pack and last step is the graphic settings and for that you need to search for graphic settings on your pc and once you are here simply click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options this will allow your pc to utilize your hardware accelerated gp scheduling that is that is your pc will optimize your graphic card to be utilized whenever it is needed as well as optimization for windowed games so whenever your game is opened in windowed mode this will help you reduce your input latency as well as optimize your games for better performance i would also recommend you guys to search for display over here and then go to display settings and right over here scroll all the way down and so click on advanced display and in advanced display you need to select your monitor one and click on choose a refresh rate and select the highest refresh rate possible on your monitor i believe that a lot of you guys might not have noticed this setting yet and if your monitor supports higher refresh rate then it will help you to get a smoother flow of your gaming sessions or your windows by default so my primary monitor has 240 hertz refresh rate but by default it comes to 60 hertz so setting it to 240 will help you to get better quality of gaming also if you are using secondary displays make sure that it is always set to the highest values and that right there guys is the complete tutorial on how you set up your graphic card as a beginner or even if you're using for long term this is how you optimize it for gaming i hope this video might have helped you out so consider leaving a like and smashing the subscribe button since we are really close to 150,000 subscribers also, don't forget to check out some more useful guides on my channel if you're using an AMD graphic card or Intel HD graphic card. I have made separate guides to all of them. Links are in the description below. Go check them out. We'll see you guys in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.